One of the first things you'll notice with the Magic Shine MJ902B as well as a number of their other new products is the packaging has changed. So they no longer include the soft shell clam case. So the package contents are all a bit more simple and hopefully that's helping to keep the cost of the products down. The package contents include the following, a simple manual, mounting strap for the light, of course the light, a charging cable, two straps for mounting the battery, the battery, a dust cap for the other end of this battery, and a power cable. First let's talk about the battery here. We've got a battery that consists of four 18650 cells within this. There's a nice rubber padding on the back of it, two slots for those mounting straps here. This is really interesting. Uh, something new for, for their products is a removable plug. So if we pinch the two sides of this, you actually can remove this. Now you might be thinking, what's the point of that? But we'll get to that in a second here. So there's a rubber dust cap that they include for that. If we go to the other side, you'll see why they've allowed you to remove that cable. If you lift that off, here's a few features. First of all, there's a power button here. That does a couple of things. First, it indicates the charge there. There's a series of three lights to indicate the remaining charge on that. USB input cable for charging this battery and a new feature to Magic Shine's batteries and output USB to charge your devices. So if you want to charge a phone, a GPS, anything of that nature, you could do so simply by pressing that power button and having something connected. The other thing that's really interesting too, I'm sure you probably just saw it there, if you put this cap back on, press through the rubber cap, the um, lights actually illuminate through the rubber. There's uh, thinner pieces of rubber right in the center here. so you can see the output without opening up that dust cap. Really neat, a lot of new features to that. Um, one other thing about this power cable that I really like that I mentioned in the other video as well, I found that the connection between the light and battery used to be very challenging. Now it's a bit different. It's not loose and it's not as tight as it used to be. It's almost sort of flexible or rubbery. This, this center portion sort of Seems like it creates a bit of a vacuum there to keep the to keep the water out, but it's not like previous models where you had to struggle to get these two things apart. So um, that's been changed. Again, this light, the MJ902B, this is a two emitter. The two emitters within this, the Cree XML2 second generation XMLs, their max output claim from the manufacturer, 1,000 each. So claiming 1,600 lumens for this product is certainly within the realm of possibility. Single power selector switch on top. This does have a low charge indicator. It basically just illuminates so you get a illuminated orange glow if you have a low battery. The strap design hasn't changed. As always, it's a little difficult to initially get that strap over the front loop here, which just means that it's secure. This never really needs to come off. And it's significantly easier on the back here to to loop that over and then there's a second stage if you need it a little bit tighter. There's that same rubber base to this. Overall the construction is plastic, a silicone or rubber button here, and then the remainder of the housing is aluminum with these heat sinks and whatnot. So this is very lightweight, very compact, and a pretty potent light for its size. I just wanted to touch on a few points of the application for controlling this device, which by the way is compatible for both iOS and Android. And for anybody who wants the full tutorial on this, everything you can do with it, that again is a separate video. Check that out in my video list. So the basic features of this app are you can connect to any number of devices and within that you can set a profile or what Magic Shine calls a scene. For example, you might have commute, or trail or race as three different profiles. And within each profile or scene, you have different levels. You have complete control from 1% to 100% for each of the outputs. And you can do that with a constant output, SOS, flash, or strobe setting. Now there's more features to this, but again, that's sort of the overview of what this does. Basically, you build your own profile. So instead of being locked into 25, 50, 100% and flash, this gives you complete control of all of the settings that you have within any given profile. 
In addition to that, I would mention that once you close out of this application, so if I'm to shut my phone off, turn off Bluetooth, the settings on this light will be as you left them. So if you were in your commute profile, let's say, versus your mountain profile, the only way to get back into that mountain profile is to reconnect with Bluetooth. So there's no way of cycling between profiles on the light. You can, of course, cycle between the different settings within a profile um, that it is set in. Now for a system weight, we have the battery, which is no spring chicken, uh, 276, 276 grams. And I guess with uh, the straps, 286. The headlight, 52 grams with the strap, I guess uh, 54, 55. And then a complete system weight, 340 grams, 41 grams. So that's the product in a nutshell. Stay tuned, watch the rest of this video for the nighttime beam patterns. I'm not gonna select 1%, 2%, 3%, but um, I'll put some settings in there and note which I've selected, and then of course show you all of the different flash settings as well. Again, check out the um, tutorial of how to use the app in its entirety. And again, I'm reviewing the 900B, so if you're looking to save a little money, step down in power, that's another option, check out that video. Subscribe, hit the like button if you appreciate the videos, subjectivecyclist.com for the full review of this product, more specs, my experience with it. Everybody, thanks for watching, take care.